Today on FPV 101, we're going to be talking about video transmitters, otherwise known as a VTX. Now for FPV, the most commonly used video transmitters fall under a 5.8 GHz frequency. Other popular video transmission frequencies include 1.3 GHz and 2.4 GHz. Now, use of these may require special permissions by your local governing body like the FCC in the United States. Generally, the lower video frequencies, such as 1.3 GHz, will allow you to travel further with your drone. But this comes at the cost of degraded video quality. Now, the next thing worth mentioning is the output power of a video transmitter. As a general rule of thumb, the higher the output power, the further you can go. FCC regulations allow for an output power of 25 milliwatts or less. If you would like to output a higher power, you would have to obtain a ham radio license from the FCC. Increasing your power output is just one method of maximizing your flight range. Now a more common method would be to use a ground station to receive video or increase the quality of your video antenna. So in the past, we've talked a bit about the differences between an analog system and a digital system. Now with both video systems, the quality is going to degrade over a distance, but it presents itself differently in both scenarios. Let's take a look at analog. With analog video, you're looking at an amazing image when you're real close in, and as you go further out, you'll start to see more static introduced. Think of the early 90s television set. Whereas with the digital system, the quality of the high definition image will start to degrade to standard definition and lower and lower. You'll just see degradation in the video until it goes completely black. Typically speaking, when flying with an analog video signal, you'll be able to fly further out without complete video loss. The last thing worth mentioning when talking about video transmitters are video antennas. The most important thing when picking a video antenna is the operating frequency. So here I have a 5.8 gigahertz video antenna and a 2.4 gigahertz video antenna. And as you can see, the lower the frequency, the bigger the antenna. To optimize performance, always make sure the frequency of your antenna matches the frequency range of your video transmitter. 